Welcome back, wonderful people out there, to Israel Place Spelunky! We are trying to finish the game without picking up any gold. And we're totally going to do this this time. Uh, the last attempt was a complete catastrophe. We did get that damn key to the tunnel, man. Well, okay. Still continuing on. I am not a wuss. I'm not going to restart the run just because I just hit myself with a rock. Like an idiot, like a big dummy, like a dickwit. And we're simply going to carry on because we'll find all sorts of damsels and things to solve our health problems. Not all that worried about it. I mean, it is an issue, but it's not a very big issue. That is what I'm trying to say. There's absolutely nothing this way, so I guess we'll go the other way. Well, let's find out what this store has. If he has a jetpack, I will steal it. If not, we'll move on. Although I am tempted to steal the paste as well. Uh, probably not worth the price of a mission, which is having a, an army of pissed off shopkeepers after our ass for the entirety of the run. Uh, actually, if you steal it, they will forgive you at uh, some point. I'm not entirely certain at what point is that. I understand it's two levels after you steal something and you still haven't killed anybody. They will forgive you. Other accounts say that only if they get killed by something that is not you, they will forgive you. Which is kind of weird, but there is a count saying as much. Well, I almost picked up those $500 in there. We're going to car carry this rat, and we're going to... There! Ow! Yes, I did not count on the recoil. Well, there goes our first attempt. Let's try again! Not worry about it. Not worry about it in the slightest. This is one of those things, you know, you also need a good level configuration is not completely out to you. It's not nearly as random as a speed run, it's a, uh, though that it depends a lot more on just how lucky you get with the seeds. I mean, the skill of course takes a very big role as well, but you know, in a speed run, if the seed is not working to, uh, towards the same goal as you are, you're kind of screwed no matter how good you are. Uh, with this kind of runs, it's not nearly as dependent on randomization. Let's make sure I'm not dropping into anything unpleasant. We're not going to worry about Jane. I wish I could. I almost picked that up out of habit. Mm, I wish I could worry about Jane, but I'm not spending... I almost picked that up as well. It's just such a problem to go against the grain, to go against the... the... impulse. To just pick up everything. I'm very tempted to carry one of these items with me. Mm -mm -mm. I love the teleport, like I've said before, we're going to use it. We're going to steal it and use the crap out of it. Maybe it will allow me to uh, skip a whole bunch of money or something. We won't use it unless we absolutely have to, though. I am very fond of the teleport as a tool. Uh, I would really like to use it for speed runs. Haha! <laughs> -ha. Actually, I need to go back for that crate. There might be something neat in that crate, so we're going to get to it. Uh, let's walk away from it because you never know where it might there might be some gold it wants to get into our face. Okay, there's nothing around here, and I'm wondering: should I bother picking up a kapala? Or trying to pick up a Kapala, I almost get screwed by that stupid spitting cobra. Mm, not going to worry about the crates. Actually, we should be able to pick it up. Let's at least find out what's in there. Some bombs. Should be able to grab it. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Let's get ourselves killed. Whoa. You know what, I I have the teleporter so seldom that we're going to stick to with it until we get to to our, our, our untimely death. That is going to happen uh, very soon, I'm sure. Because I'm being totally reckless with it. See if we can kill the shopkeeper. I was trying to teleport into him, but I actually teleported into his bullets. So, well, that's too bad. I was really hoping for... Whoa. Well, that was kind of silly, but at least we didn't pick up that gold, so still going. Man, that's a inconvenient placement of gold ingots. Uh, we're going to use Jane. 
Yeah, where you can just whip her to get her out of there. Come to us. Come to us! You're so dumb! You come to me after I hurt you. Kind of retard. Yeah, I guess I don't have room to speak, right? Let's let's simply keep quiet now and <laughs> grab this. Ooh, this might turn the run run around if I manage not to die to ridiculous mistakes. But we're going to carry this Maddock. It could completely turn the run around. Maybe. Well, we're at the very beginning of the run, so it could make this run, I should say, because now we can skip through a lot of things. I wouldn't otherwise, we wouldn't otherwise be able to. Uh, we do want to get the damsels to the exit because I've taken some ridiculous damage. So we're going to get her out of there by the same, me same method of whipping the crap out of her. Do, 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 do. Come to me! I command it with my whip! Let's toss Matilda down here. Actually, we'll just carry her. Whoop! Damn it! Dumbest, dumbest damage that I'm taking is so stupid. Still in the game though. You can still make it. Alright, I mean to toss you down there like that. That was kind of rude of me, I'm sorry. Okay, let's carry on. I think we're in one in one dash three only. So this is going to take a while, I guess. No gold to worry about here. Let's simply drop down, drop down. Uh, a compass. That will be super important in the ice caves, but it is very dangerous. Let's get the get rid of the spider. Whoop. Wow, that was kind of weird. Those the, that debris. <laughs> oh, I should just retire now. I should just retire. Spelunky is just too much for me. Another super stupid damage, but I guess you know, it's not really that important. We'll just restart if I die I guess that's the drawback and this is not nearly as high stakes as your daily challenge, which you know, is not real stakes But if sure feels that way, let's see if we can use that guy not to take full damage I don't know if I would have taken full damage But just in case all right that worked out just fine. That worked out beautifully Mmm, yeah, just drop down, drop down, kill this dude, should be able to just get in there. Nothing I want to steal from that dude, so we're going to simply leave. We are looking for damsels still, though. At least we made it to jungle. We only made it to jungle once before in the series that is pretty sad. But like I said before, it is so much harder than I thought. So much harder. See if we can get rid of the sticky trap. Uh, kind of worry about this man trap gold situation, but it is not too terrible to navigate. Drop down to whoa, whoa, whoa! There's 500 dollars there that I almost picked up. Get to that. The trees, the trees. Oh, the trees! How I hate them. Oh, I guess we're getting killed by this guy. No, oh, I guess he died. Whoa! Ah, wah, 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 wah. And now. I am reborn! Ugh. Man, so many traps. This is a huge challenge. It's no wonder so many, so few people actually, that should have tipped me off that so few people actually have this achievement. Uh, it's, a, it's an interesting challenge. I'm enjoying myself, even though I'm whining a lot. I am enjoying myself. Well, in such an easy Ujjadai, we're going to just pick it up. I mean, why not? What is this guy selling? Just uh, bombs, which would be nice to have, but of course we don't want to piss off the guy just for the bombs. Because then we will have to deal with shopkeepers for the rest of the run. Probably not worth it. And, you know, we're not really bombing through places because bombs can screw us over so badly by bouncing money into our face. I will get that crate though. Kind of hard to get to it. Uh. <laughs> oh, it doesn't explode. And we're going to simply pick it up and whip it over here. Okay, I'm okay with some bombs. I'm alright with that. Okay, let's deal with these arrow traps logically. Or 
safely or resourcefully. Whoop, there you go. This gold, damn gold. Normally something that I love, now something that we must avoid at all costs. Should we go do this? Yay! Stuff I want, not don't want it enough. My goodness, this just traps everywhere. I have used my money to kill my enemies. Let's hope for a crate maybe around here. There's nothing, so we're going to leave. No damsels here. That's kind of weird. I haven't even heard them. Kind of strange. Mm, there's a crate I would like to get to there, but nah, screw it. Mm, we're going to use that pot to trigger the arrow trap because, see, there's some bombs there. I cannot get back up without using a rope, so I don't care about it. Let's simply carry on. Carry on. And there's Sparky. Ooh, almost uh, grabbed that $500. What's in here? Ooh, almost hit me. There. Scorpion must die. At least stop being a problem for me. Da, 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 da. Whoop! Whoop! There we go. Nice! Carrying on. Everything's looking pretty good in this run. We just need to keep being wary of all the, the gold locations. Let's uh, hope that there's an exit on this side. Uh. There. Yeah, off with you! Filthy, filthy! Oh, that frog disappeared on us. Uh, we should be able to simply jump down there. Yep, just run to the other side. What we're looking for. Oh man, getting onto the trees is a hugely bad idea. Okay, there's nothing on this tree. I almost, I would totally made the same mistake if they had been some money in there. So we must avoid the trees. Obviously not going to the warm, I am not that insane yet. We have to whip the damn uh, trees now. There can only be gold in on top of the trunk, so as long as we don't step on the trunk itself, we should be okay. And the game is just throwing money at me, isn't it? Navigate this area. The black market, we're not going there. Actually, I should go there because it's a relatively super easy level to navigate. And it's right here, so we're going to go there. We simply need to not pick up any gold. Alright. We're not going to worry about the dam, so we're going to go into the black market. Because it's super easy to navigate. Hopefully, we won't find any upsetting gold placements obviously we can't buy anything and stealing something here is akin to suicide but you know we're almost to the exit already that's that's what i was trying to get at earlier we have to deal with the frog these guys let's drop a pot on one of them bullshit okay one of them let's oh my goodness this situation there Ow! Well, I guess it was predictable damage there. I want that... I wanted the boomerang, though. How about you guys go away and give me my boomerang? There we go. Because it could come in handy. Ah, it was right there. That was silly. Okay, this should work. Let's do it. There we go. Oh, and now... Right. Uh, dropping, I'm sure you're aware, dropping a red frog into the water will make it blue, but it will apparently also unstun it. I was not aware of that part, but, uh, whoa. Uh, damn it. <laughs> there. There. Uh, I will also unstun the, the frog. I was not aware of that part. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any gold here. Ugh. This uh, poor Tiki Trap placement. Alright. Still no, no gold in our pockets. This is looking pretty good. Uh, here, here's our last uh, area 
of the jungle and it's looking grim right now. We're going to use a bomb to get down there. I don't see any gold in the walls. Also, the Ujjada is super useful to make sure there's no gems in the walls that will jump at us. So, totally worth it. I'm not sure the boomerang hits gold, but there's nothing there. Okay. And we might have to bomb our way down. Because this is looking pretty hard to navigate. We're going to put a bomb right there, and we're going to go away from that potentially fatal amount of uh, that pot, maybe that also the gem that was at the bottom. The thing is, though, dropping down there is suicide. Maybe if I, I, I can totally get under there, that was exactly the outcome I was hoping for. I got kind of lucky. Okay, there's no money there. Go away, guys. Come on. Oh, I was hoping for the boomerang to come back on time. Almost happened. Off with you, filthy creature of the night. Okay, we made it out of the jungle. And now the problem is going to be navigating the ice caves without dropping into the abyss because we have no tools to do it. Maybe this crate will save me. Nope. Uh, ropes are actually super useful in, in the ice caves. So we're simply going to pick a side and hope that's the only thing we can do, really. I do want that crate right there. A parachute? Okay, I can do with a parachute. Actually, might save our lives in the ice caves. The first time that happens. That was also scary. Alright, here's the exit. We're going to take no chances and whip that gold out of the way. Whoop! One level of the ice caves done. I think this is the furthest we've gotten without getting money, so at least there's progress, right? That's what I'm telling myself, anyway. Oop. And I'm wondering, should I worry about Millie here, or should I simply carry on? I think what I'm going to do is simply carry on. Because I do like this, this boomerang is coming quite handy. The concern now is, which way is the exit? That way. Good. Uh, nothing I want, let's go! Super careful not dropping into the wrong side of the map. That will be catastrophic as well because we have no way to get back down. Now, why am I getting up there? There's no reason to get up there. And uh, something that you don't want to do is use, use the boomerang against the aliens because they might bounce right back at you. Let's find out whether the boomerang... Okay, the boomerang does not hit money. So that's something worth knowing. Jump on this Yeti. I think we're still safe on our descent here. There is... Uh, there's Manuel. Moai head that we don't care about. That's the exit. We're going to go there. Okay, another level of the ice caves complete. This is going quite well. But the really the challenging area will be... The place that will test our skills at avoiding money will be the temple. Because there's all of these little nooks and crannies that we can get screwed by. I'm trying to figure out the best way to go down here. I don't have spike shoes, of course. So, I mean, my best interest to go this way. Damn it, this parachute just saved my ass. So, I guess we're going this way. Whoa. And I'm hoping for the exit to... Okay, there it is. I almost took fall damage right there. But I didn't, so... There's no need to panic. That was less than careful, let's say. That was a very careless last level. Wow, thwomp over there. I don't want to mess with that. Let's carefully make our way to the way down. And I'm wondering, maybe I should bomb my way down. Okay, that was all. that's what I was hoping would happen. And there could be money behind every column here. So we don't want to go behind columns without whipping first. That is a very upsetting situation down there. Might need to drop a bomb. Man, that is tough. Let's see if we can get 
and go around. Let's see if we can go around to the other side. Jump here, whip, 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 whip. There's nothing down there, right? Just a scorpion? Yeah, that's what I was hoping that would happen. Ooh, that's right, there's Anubis as well. We're going to bomb our way in there. And I guess maybe weave between Anubis' crap and just get to the exit and leave Anubis in, in his stupid throne. This is such a tough area. I'm sure there's no gold there. I'm tempted to maybe try to avoid him altogether because I'm pretty sure the exit is there. Maybe? No? It would be nice to know if the exit is there. Man, this is tough. Wow, that was stupid! <laughs> Anubis' pink crap is very much upsetting me. Of course, we have no paste to stick uh, bombs to him. So we kind of have to improvise. I don't know what to do, honestly. I'll be honest with you. Because I can't even... Uh... Now we're going to try to do this. Jump over here. Now there's those traps I need to take care of. Uh, trigger those as well. There's a freaking alligator man. Okay, Anubis got himself killed somehow. I'm so glad that there was nothing to. I'm not even going to worry about the scepter. Uh, no! No! I jumped too early. I thought I would jump over the arrow. Oh man, that is so bad. We're gonna try one more. Oh, that was such a good run. I'm so sad that ended like that. By a narrow. Nobody picking up money, but by a narrow. Freaking arrow trap. Like the first thing you ever have to deal with and the last thing that might kill you. Oh, let's try once again. It's actually not that hard once you learn to be super careful. Like right here, there's no freaking way. Uh, I'll use this rope so I can get to Matilda over there. Whoop. The rat saved me. Luckily, I didn't fall into those $500. That was, that was kind of stupid. That was a stupid risk I should have taken. I just didn't realize there was those $500 over there. Let's go, Matilda. You and I, we're going to accomplish great things. Bomb some paste. Maybe the paste is something worth stealing, honestly, because uh, it is tough to deal with Anubis at the temple without bombs to stick to his face. But I don't think I'm going to go that way because pissing off tele uh, not teleporters, pissing off teleporters. I was going, I was about to say, pissing off shopkeepers. It is a huge hassle on top of everything else, and I don't like this one bit. Let's trigger that damn arrow trap. Mm -hmm. Okay, whip that gold so we don't pick it up by mistake. Carry on, stupid bats, you're not going to get me. We're leaving. Leave this accursed place. And hopefully this attempt will be a long one. Let's drop on top of this thing. I ignored Lisa over there. Not caring about Lisa. Mm, I will try to make something good happen out of this son of a bitch. Well, this one was pretty short, so we're going to try it once more. I just didn't realize I was in the trajectory of a freaking nugget of gold. Ugh. The little things is what are what get you, man. The little things that jump into your face. Oh, wow, I almost triggered that arrow trap. Uh, this should work? No, it did not work. I was going to wipe that, but I whip that, but I jumped too early. That is, this is what I should have done. This is what I did. Derp. Oh well. Oh well. We're still alive. <laughs> I don't even saw them. I picked up that rock in order to trigger that arrow trap. Okay, this is totally going to work now. Well, at least I avoided the two points of damage. Not going well. Using a bomb to get to that crate over there. Oh, money! <laughs> oh 
love and money is evil, he just wants to get into me. Like a rapist. That was an insensitive joke and I, I apologize for it. Okay, let's... Ugh, ugh, freaking money, at least we, now we have a lot of bombs to deal to solve our problems with. Hopefully, we won't get into any other dumb situation where we have to... Uh, the climbing gloves would be super nice, but not worth stealing for. Stealing man is not worth the trouble. Both in Spelunky and real life. Not so much in Spelunky though. Sometimes stealing is completely justified. Because what is one man's misery? Besides a slight convenience for me. Oh, that $500 was in a tough spot with that damn... And the jetpack. I might kill this guy. Hmm. Because I also want the compass. We're just going to steal the damn jetpack and worry about the consequences in the future. Yep, that's nice. Oh my goodness, what a nightmare. What a nightmare. Let's drop a rope down here. That should work. Okay. Now we just need to get to the exit. And maybe if we don't piss off shopkeepers for two full uh, two full floors. Is the shopkeeper getting pissed off? Oh no, that was a spider. Okay. If we don't piss off shopkeepers for two full floors, we might be able to get forgiveness. I'm not sure if it works that way, so we'll find out. Hopefully, if we don't die, we'll find out. So now we have the jetpack, this makes everything so much easier. So what matters now... Let's get that guy out of there, actually. Because he shouldn't die. And where's John? I like... Okay, there, it's not worth getting to him. Let's get that guy out of there so we can get all those bombs. He doesn't seem to be cooperative right now. I should use the. Should be able to whip this money to trigger the arrow trap down there. There. <laughs> Stupid money. I'm very concerned about that guy now. I should not go. Blah, 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 blah. I should not have gotten so close to him. We're going to quickly drop down, jump over the damn thing. Whoa! He can totally get me here. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. This is terrible. Why did I get myself in this situation? Woohoo! That's <laughs> yet another. Let's try once more. I am addicted now. I am completely addicted. I have found. I have found uh, the Spelunky magic once more. Once we I first got this game, I will play run after run after run after run. Nowadays, I just, you know, play the daily challenge uh, when I get home, and then I go do other more fun... Or actually, no more fun. Other things that... Uh, other things that need to be done. Because, you know, the daily challenge is so much fun. It just... The race stakes, it makes everything so much fun. Of the, the whole friendly competition thing. Yeah, we can still grab that rock. Uh, so you want to do it every day, but... But I no longer just play run after uh, run after run just for the fun of it. And now I am kind of... Very much... Loving... The challenge of maybe getting to the end without picking up anything. Any gold. I don't think, if I'm honest with you, we're going to make it in this run either. But this is an, an, another attempt that we're going to do our best. And we're totally going to get there. This is going to become a series that possibly will play in it, put in its own playlist. If it becomes a long-term goal, that would be kind of sad. Mm, we're going to try and get the pace out of that thing. Let's hide from the dam. Uh, this looks gettable. Drop there, or I could just grab the damn emerald like a retard. I don't know why I did that. I was trying. Okay. <laughs> totally instinctive to do that. Okay, let's see. 
That's what I wanted to do earlier. I wanted to prove myself that I can totally do it. And I did. Okay, let's get to the damn... Outside, out of the mines. Come on. We can totally do this. We're capable. Careful with that. Powder keg exploding. Careful with arrow traps at the end of long hallways. Always a concern. Whenever there's a long straight hallway you cannot see the end of, you'll want to slow down a bit and make sure you're running head headlong into danger. And uh, Shaggy here it warrants a bump for sure. Ooh. Oh, damn. It's, uh, usually you can jump onto the border, but I got a little too close. Okay, now for sure this is going to be the last, no matter what. And possibly it will be a disaster, but no matter what, what we're going to drop it right here because there's things to do, there's chores to accomplish, there's other games to play, there's so many things we can do with our time instead of, you know, playing Spelunky forever! Also the run has been running for quite a while, I'm not sure what, how long, because... Oh, that was dumb. Well, I cannot get to those ropes without picking out that money or doing some crazy thing with bombs or, or anything, so I'm going to simply forget about it. Do 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 out of the first level. Ugh. Pretty frustrating, but fun. I enjoy it. I'm enjoying it quite well. And it sounds like I'm trying to convince myself that's not the case. I'm actually totally having fun. Hopefully you're also having fun by watching this uh these uh, silly, silly attempts at, at getting to the end without ooh, almost getting to the path of maybe getting to the path of those gems. All right, finally, a gettable gist jar with that trouble. And uh, do we want to use a rope to get to John? We should be able to use the spider if we play it a little smart. Eh, come on, spider, jump all the way up here. Or maybe this bat! Maybe this bat will do it! Ooh! Oh, too almost there. This might work. Ah, screw John, we don't give a shit about them! About him! Screw it! Let's carry on. And as long as there's... Oh man, I missed that jump, I almost run into that. As long as there's no dark levels. Be all right. I mean, I can always make a mistake, but the dark levels they just spell doom left and right. And regular runs, but especially in runs where you don't want to pick up anything because every torch you light is um, potential money to pick up. It's uh, terrible. The only way to light up the torches, I guess, would be to toss the torch sideways. That's the only way I can think of to. And of course, a uh, big danger because you are risking your torch in the process. You can't just run. <laughs> Super dodge. Get to this damn scorpion. You can't just run into... Of course, we don't want the damn higher help because he would pick up money for us. We don't want that. We're going to explore a little bit in case there we, we, we can find... Ah, hoo, hoo, hoo. We can find a crate or a damsel. I hear Jane over here. She's totally going to get an arrow to her butt, but it looks like getting to her is uh, pretty trivial. And a crate, nice. I'm glad that I follow her desperate cries for help. I am sorry, Jane. You got an arrow to your butt, but there's a prize to get rescued. An arrow to your derriere is the price you had to pay. Ha! I don't want you. You're too ugly for me. Alright, a sweet kiss into send us off into the jungle. Oh man, this is so hard. I'm very tempted to son of a bitch! Come out of there so I can stomp on your head or get killed by you. Go away, piece of crap! I'm going to kill you! I'm going to kill you in the most humiliating way possible now! Oh, I'm so pissed off! So pissed off! I am so upset! So upset! Ow! Ow! He stole the... He stole the shotgun back! Oh, come here, you piece of crap! Ouch! Ow! Ow! Blah, 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 blah. Well, that was it! Somehow we managed to survive that long. 
Oh, that's too bad. We're going to try again until we get this done because I'm having a blast here. Until we try again, I bid you fire. <laughs> it's not like I said it 20 million times or anything. I bid you farewell is what I'm trying to say. Goodbye.